This thing is actually a novelty instrument. It's not like a real instrument. It's something I bought in a store in downtown Amherst. Uh, it's uh, chimes by Woodstock Chimes. Uh, I guess they use uh, these chimes like you have uh, hanging down those, uh, those wind chimes and they made it into an instrument. So I'm using this because it doesn't take up too much room. So this is my instrument that I've been using for a number of years now. So just wanted to show it to you here so that uh, you can see that uh, this is the, the new thing here. And then I use the gong here when people, when people put in a dollar or more, and then I, I do the thing on the chimes when they put in change. Hey, greetings and salutations. This is Ron Nestor, also known as Retson Noor. I actually just finished my last day of doing the Salvation Army for the uh, Christmas season 2010. Uh, started in uh, November, and we started a little late this year. It was, uh, I think it was like a week before Thanksgiving when they actually got started, but uh, they usually start the first or second week of November anyway, and this is uh, uh, two days before uh, the New Year. They went this year until New Year. Sometimes they go to New Year's and sometimes they go to uh, just to Christmas. Uh, so I just wanted to make a comment about uh, a couple of things here. Uh, the Salvation Army, I, I enjoy doing the Salvation Army. I rate jobs on a scale of 1 to 10. Uh, one being the worst and ten being the best. Uh, and uh, my regular jobs uh, are basically uh, one job is a six and another job is a four. So I don't rate those jobs very highly, those regular jobs that I have all year round. But the Salvation Army I rate more of a seven or an eight. I think it kind of depends on the weather if it's freezing cold like it was uh, uh, a couple of days ago where you're outside there in a freezing cold, uh, uh, that could be kind of a lower rating, but uh, generally I rate it as an 8 because I I have my own schedule. I tell them when I'm available and uh, I kind of do my own thing, so <clears throat> I like the idea of being in, in charge of my own time and space, so I basically kind of... Uh, can set my own schedule and I enjoy that and I do music uh, with the Salvation Army. I'm going to be demonstrating that right here for you and I just wanted to make a comment the Salvation Army. I've been doing this now for 25 years and uh, actually I got my picture in a newspaper this year. Let me uh, go get that picture I'll show you here. I made an enlargement here, but basically it was a picture from the newspaper. Uh, they did a, uh, a little photo shoot there. I've been actually in the newspaper a number of times with the Salvation Army, and this may be my last year. I'm not quite sure. I'm kind of debating because I've been doing it for 25 years now. I'm going to read what it says here on this picture here, what it said under the picture. It said... Special Army Ops, Salvation Army bell ringer Ron Nestor, 60, of Hadley, plays holiday songs on chimes Friday night outside Walmart in Hadley. This is Nestor's 25th year working as a ringer. Over the years, he has played drums, cowbells, cymbals, finger cymbals, and bell trees. This year, a gong rests beside him. When someone donates a dollar or more, he rings the gong. He says he works an average of 12 to 15 hours per week. So that's basically a quick summary of what I was doing there. But uh, I do have uh, some uh, musical instrument that I play. And I usually uh, use the instrument more than the bell. But this year I've been kind of dividing it up uh, half and half. Sometimes I'm playing the uh, instrument and sometimes I'm ringing the bell. So it kind of is half and half. But... 
I also want to make a comment that uh, I do get a lot of psychic income out of the Salvation Army, which is uh, uh, why it has a higher rating. A psychic e income is your psychological satisfaction uh, doing something, and uh, the whole concept of the Special Operations Society is uh, psychic income. Uh, and uh, doing stuff not necessarily for money, uh, you're doing activities, uh, could be uh, a paid activity, but most of the activities, uh, especially the activities that I've done, are volunteer activities, I've done a lot of volunteering to play music, uh, most of the music groups I played in I did not get paid for, I do get paid nowadays for some of the music that I play, but I didn't do that in the past. And so I just wanted to say that psychic income is important. Also, uh, if you notice, uh, there is no Salvation Army outside of some major shopping area. Uh, most likely it's because they won't allow the Salvation Army in that spot there. Uh, some businesses won't allow the Salvation Army. I just wanted to make a comment because sometimes people have told me they haven't seen the Salvation Army. And it's probably because uh, a lot of places do not allow the Salvation Army to set up at their business and so most likely if you do not see the Salvation Army outside a major shopping place, say like a, a big store or something, a department store or something, <clears throat> they probably won't allow it. Uh, so uh, that's generally the, the situation there. I'm going to show you what I... I do hear because I did set up the camera when I was outside but I set it up quickly and you couldn't really hear it and uh, they came out and told me I couldn't do any video stuff there so I just shot a little video outside where I was uh, doing my uh, music thing for the Salvation Army and I'm gonna kind of show you what I do here right in the kitchen here uh, uh, I'm just gonna show you I do have my outfit on I got my my hat. I was told by some guy last year this is actually an Air Force General's hat. He wanted to buy it from me. I told him, no way, Jose. I'm going to keep this hat here. So I have the Air Force General's hat. I put a music insignia on it. Uh, that's because I was in the American Legion band, and that's an American Legion thing that I put on the hat there. And I made a custom-made ID here. I'll show you that. Don't know if you can see that, but it's uh, basically it says Salvation Army Special Operations, Ron Nestor, authorized personnel, with my ID on there. So, so I guess you can see that. And I'll show you my stuff here. I did manage to play some songs. I just learned a new song this year. I'm going to show it to you. Here I am uh, with my instrument. This is basically how I have my setup. I have a tray and I have the uh, thing set up on the tray. Uh, like I said, this is not like a, a regular kind of instrument and I'm basically a, a drummer. I'm not a keyboard player. Uh, so if I uh, do songs, I actually have to kind of work them out let a lot of time when I'm sitting there doing the Salvation Army thing usually at the beginning of the season I have to kind of work out some of the songs there and uh, some songs I had uh, memorized from uh, the last uh, two or three years what I've been doing this and I, I ha had to refresh my memory uh, there's not really too many uh, tunes that I can play because there's a limited amount of notes on this thing so there's some songs that I can play and some songs I can't play. Uh, and I actually came up with a new song here. You probably recognize it. Uh, let me uh, do it for you. <clears throat> 